What's up everyone and welcome back to Low Luxury. I'm Killian and I just picked up this completely thrashed knit sweater from Balenciaga. Uh, I think they called this the destroyed knit and I absolutely love this thing. But here's the thing, I uh, not too long ago picked up another thrashed knit from Balenciaga, this hoodie right here. But I had different feelings about this one. Let, let's hear what I had to say when I picked this up. This t-shirt kind of covered in little bits of the frayed edges, and that's right out of the box. So that tells me that right off the bat, these are already fraying more. So I was not completely sold on this, uh, and, and I stand by what I said there, but this, I wanna know, is it any different or did I just make the same exact mistake twice? I wouldn't put it past me, I'm not a very smart person. So we're gonna check out this piece and I wanna see what it does the same or differently than this one and decide what is the right way to do a thrashed distressed knit. Let's check it out. Hey y'all, in case you missed it, I have a new Instagram. My last one got banned, whatever, it doesn't matter. My new Instagram is at low luxury clothing. Go follow me there, I post cool stuff. And I also made a threads, which is connected to Instagram. So yeah, at low luxury clothing, see you there. Oh God, I'm so excited to check these out. Uh, I think the first thing that we need to look at that makes a big, big difference in this one is fabrication. So let's take a look at this original hoodie I got. So this one is 100% cotton. And cotton is like a very, very heavy fabric. Like you can see in the knit how thick the knit is. Uh, there's really no way around that with cotton and you can see it hanging off here, just the weight pulling at this. Like this is tight right here. And what about this sweater? Well, this one is virgin wool for the most part, a little bit of cotton, a little bit of polyamide, poly all that good stuff, but primarily virgin wool. And it is just so much lighter. Like you can feel the difference instantly between these. And I think that's the first thing that makes a huge difference. This one, you're getting all this pressure, all this tension that is causing it to literally fall apart at the seams. I mean, as intended, I get it. But this one, these fibers are not making nearly as much of an effort to pull themselves apart. And it creates a much more stable garment, I would say. But that is far from all there is to it. There's also a really important piece in just the construction overall and the, I don't know, the choices that Balenciaga made in making these pieces that is very different between the two. Because this one, look, it is two pieces. It is a knit hoodie on top of a gray long sleeve, just jersey t-shirt. That's what's going on with this. And outside of a couple stitches at the shoulders here, the two are completely disconnected from each other. Like I can take this at the hem and completely lift it away from the shirt that is on the inside. Like you can see it just hanging off there. There is no connection between the two. So this heavy, heavy knit has no grounding. It has no anchor point to the piece underneath that keeps it all in one place. And that was my kind of original suggestion of what I would change about this piece is I would at all of these kind of destroyed holes and areas, I would take a stitch and kind of stitch it down to the shirt underneath in key places so that it's all of a piece and you kind of create a frame for how much it can fray and destroy. But that is not what they did at all. Like this thing sheds, it sheds blue. Like I could probably pull a little bit out right here. Yeah, it's starting to come out. Uh, you, can, you can see right here. That is not on the knit. That's just an, a new piece that has come off of this. And that's just how it rolls with this hoodie. But this is a video about this sweater and they did so much differently here. It's crazy how different it is because every single piece of distressing, of thrashing here, is anchored. It really, much very similar to the hoodie, it looks like there are two layers. It looks like it is this gray, like fair isle type of knit on top of black. But take a look at this. This is all a single piece. It is all connected. And I just find that really cool. Like the way that's constructed, I can't even begin to imagine how they did it, but it is so cool. Like this is a panel that they put in. How insane is that? 
Like, look at the inside here. It is completely anchored to that collar. So that's not like two collars sitting on top of each other. It's all one collar. Even here at these big areas, like, look at this. This looks like it's falling apart, right? It looks like it's ready to just completely, completely fall apart. But look at this. Once again, every little bit of that is anchored. And these things are coming out of here. It's all a single piece when you really come down to it. The inside of this is just insane. You can see all of the layers here and all the stringiness, but then on those thrashed areas, that's just a solid piece of black right there, just in there, completely solid. That thing ain't coming apart, baby, even though it looks like it is. And honestly, I think it's fair to say that this sweater is a step forward from this one. Uh, it shows more design, more, I don't know, construction ingenuity, because this is a knit hoodie thrown on top of a t-shirt that they cut a lot of holes in. It looks cool. I really, really like how it looks. But this took some legitimate engineering, honestly. It's, it's impressive, I think. Like, this sleeve is so interesting. There is so much going on here. And I think you get the really the best impression of it, the best idea, when you turn these things inside out. Because from the outside, it looks like a mess, intentionally so. But now I've turned this inside out and you can see there is a method to the madness. It's like this is all kind of like extra stuff, an extra layer that creates these distressed pieces on the outside. But then you've got this solid black and that looks like the messiest part, the most distressed thrash part from the outside. But actually it's kind of, it's, it's the most together of anything, which is insane. And at the back, all of that carries through. I love everything they're doing here. You get big elements here with these big yarns coming off. Again, all solid though. Like this is not coming apart any more than it already is. Uh, I love the kind of strings hanging down. It gives kind of like a, a Rick Owens vibe in some ways. And I like that the fit, you'll see in a bit, it's a slightly cropped fit, I would say. And then these arms are nice and long. And again, a lot, a lot coming off of them here. Like this panel right here is a huge one. I really like this sweater, you guys. It's, I would say it's like a crew neck. You get a ribbed neck, um, but it's kind of starting to border on a mock neck, which I also really like. And then you get this kind of like, if you know, you know, embroidered branding at the center. You get this crest here and the BB, since it's in black, it's almost like hidden there. But for somebody that knows, like it's a flex at the same time. But I think I just really like the levels of it. Like once more, let's go back to this. You get some really big holes, uh, some even bigger tears, and then some like lighter bites taken out and things like that. But it's really all of a piece. Every piece of distressing is fairly similar on this hoodie. But this one, it's just layered. You get these giant, bits taken out of here. And then you get these smaller kind of like moth eaten bits. You get the extra yarns coming off. You get the stringiness down at the bottom. And even in places you get some really, really subtle elements going on as well. Like this one here or even up here. Yeah, it's just that like moth eaten nature of it. Really cool. So now we know why we prefer the construction of this one to this one. Uh, you've already seen me do a fit with this, but not this. So let's see what we're gonna pair this sweater with. All right, so the first thing we're gonna pair this sweater with, our pants. I feel like that's a really important part and it's gotta go well here. And for this, we're gonna stay Balenciaga. We've got this double waist, like camo jeans, nice wide leg, Japanese jeans. I love these so much. We don't get to wear them a ton on the channel and the camo, waist up top is just going to be underneath here. So it's just going to be these jeans, but I think the color combination and the fading here actually works really well, as well as the fit, because it is actually a tighter sweater, as you'll see, which is very rare for Balenciaga. So the wider jeans, I think, will do wonders for us. And then I also actually want to wear a hat because Demna, he loves like a distressed hat. He loves a mask, that kind of like incognito mode thing that Balenciaga has been so known for. So I'm gonna go with this Supreme undercover hat with the studs here. The, the punk styling of the studs along with the super distressing of the sweater, 
I think pairs very well. And of course, black on black, no problems there. And finally, for shoes, like this is a very aggressive kind of like gothy industrial metal punk look. And I want to keep that going. I want to keep it aggro. So we have these Rick Owens toothy sock boots here. It's like a, a leather and neoprene kind of sock. Super interesting. Again, though, these socks are going to go right under the legs of, of the jeans. So it's just going to be these big, chunky, toothy soles right here. And I think all together, I'm psyched on this look. I'm excited to see it. So let's throw everything on. All right, I'd say this is quite a different type of fit for me, but I actually really like it. I think I'm gonna, gonna try this one out in the streets one of these days, because I'm enjoying this. And I think it can work tucked or untucked. In a little bit, I'll, I'll try tucking it in so you can see it with that kind of like camo double waist, because I think that looks pretty cool as well. But let's talk about this sweater specifically. Probably the hardest part of this entire thing is just getting it on. There's a lot of kind of like stringiness on the inside of the knit that makes it tough to, to get on safely. But I have that same problem with the blue hoodie. The hoodie is actually even tougher. You can go straight through one of those holes with an arm and tear that thing wide open very easily. But I don't have as much of a fear of that here. And once it's on, it feels incredibly solid. It feels just as solid and together and stable as a normal knit sweater without any distressing or thrashing or whatever you want to call it. Talking about the fit, I did mention that this is actually reasonably sized for once for Balenciaga. Uh, this is an extra small, which is often what I go for for Balenciaga. And for once, it actually fits normally. Uh, it fits like a kind of like boxy small, I would say. So ever so slightly, even still oversized from its tag size. But geez, it is the closest I have maybe ever seen from a Balenciaga top, which are usually like normally most Demna stuff and extra small would fit like most brands 2XL. You know what I mean? So I think you could actually, if you're looking at this piece, go true to size and be good. And finally, the feel, I did mention that it's mostly virgin wool here, and I love the lightness of it. It's not extra scratchy. It's not that like heavy, bristly wool or anything. It, it's much finer than that. And it moves with you. It's light, even with all the extra panels and stuff to, to create this distressed piece that we've got here. It feels very comfortable very wearable and I think they chose right with the fabric here. If this was cotton like that hoodie, I think it would be a completely different story, both in how it feels and then also how it fits because the lightness adds something here to how it looks as well, I think. So definitely that would be my final recommendation. While I like the look of the knit hoodie, I would not suggest that one, honestly. I think it's, it's just too risky. It's too prone to completely falling apart. But this one is one that you could keep in your closet for years and years and years, and I think would look as good as new, even after all that time and wearing it consistently. It feels that solid to me, and I think they've done something really impressive with putting this one together. All right, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at these thrashed knits from Balenciaga. Take a look at the other video on screen here. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll see you next time. Jeez, this hoodie's heavy. I gotta put it down. Oh my lord.